In July, Luis Vieira and his partner Richard were attacked in a hate crime in Stapleton because they were gay. And they say the most important lesson they learned from their attack was to not stand back, but to speak up against violence. People are starting to voice their opinion, and I think that's what everyone should do. Everyone should mobilize and start speaking against things like hatred and, and these, these violent acts that continue to go on every day. So the couple joined students at the College of Staten Island Thursday night for a march against hate crimes organized by the Gay Straight Alliance. Students shared their own stories of intolerance and, the heat. and then lit candles and marched through campus. About 75 students attended the event, which is part of the I Am Staten Island initiative, a campaign to support tolerance on the island. We are in a, a borough of hate that we're, you know, we're a bunch of concerned citizens that are really angry and upset about, uh, uh, you know, a few um, horrible incidents that happened on Staten Island. Members of the Gay Straight Alliance started planning this event at the beginning of the semester in August to respond to the hate crimes that happened over the summer. But they say with 19 suicides that happened over the last couple of weeks, they realize just how important this event is. This has become an epidemic in our country and it needs to be addressed. Alliance President Jeremiah Jerkowitz says he was disheartened to learn about the nine different teenagers across the country who killed themselves over the last few weeks because they were bullied and that he hopes the march will teach students to speak up against hate. We need to change that. We need to make it so that 13 year olds don't feel the need to hang themselves in their own homes because they feel like they can't be who they are. Jerkowitz also encouraged students to attend an anti-gay bullying rally in Newdorp on October 9th. In Willowbrook, Mari Fagel, New York One.